Welcome back to my dark room. During this time of quarantine, uh, it seems like I've got more than enough time on my hands to do some projects I've just kind of pushed to the wayside and not really done anything about. One of those things is dealing with a paper safe that I use. When I print for exhibitions, mostly I do 16 by 20. So I use a 16 by 20 inch paper safe, but my dark room doesn't really have anywhere to put it. The shelf is too narrow. I don't want to use up all of my baseboard space. So it's been kind of just sitting on the floor underneath the enlarger, which is not the most convenient place to have it. What I've discovered uh, when I bought the cabinet that my sink sits on is that the false front for that uh, drawer comes off. Uh, I, I guess some models of that cabinet had a drawer option and they just kind of used all the same stuff. So it is wide enough and deep enough that I can make kind of a sliding shelf uh, semi drawer that I can put this paper safe onto. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. I have a piece of half inch plywood, Ugh! already cut it to size. So it's the right width and the right length. And then we've got some drawer slides. So we're gonna get that panel off and attach the door uh, drawer slides and get that installed. So let's move over here, take a closer look at the actual cabinet. All right, so this is the cabinet, um, just a plain oak cabinet from Lowe's. It's one of their budget style. So red oak on the face, the rest is just press board. So this panel right here is not actually a drawer. I was doing something else and I found out that you can just take it right off. It's got these clips. So you can see I've got just stuff in here like some processing tanks, which we're gonna take out, make way. Ugh. Got too much junk. All right. Now, first thing that I need to do uh, to make this work is I've gotta get rid of this because I'm not gonna make two drawers. I'm gonna have to have one wide one. So uh, to do that, of course, power tools would be nice, but I don't have a reciprocating saw and my jigsaw, I don't believe I could get in there clean enough. So I'm gonna have to do this the hard way with a handsaw. I've got a um, flush cut handsaw from Harbor Freight. They're cheap, but they work really, really well. So, Let's get in there and just cut it out. All right, that one's loose. <clears throat> now the top. Okay, well, that worked pretty well. All right, next thing I suppose is to make sure that the actual plywood that I cut fits where I think it's going to. So let's try that. Support it from underneath. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Would have been really embarrassing if it hadn't. Oh. Okay, so the drawer pulls themselves. Or rather, drawer slides. So we've got two different parts. And there's the uh, portion that attaches to the cabinet and the portion that attaches to 
the plywood here. Let's do the cabinet first. So the cabinet, I already know for a fact, I'm going to have to create two blocks. Now I've got this spare piece. Basically, the slide, when it goes in, does not have anything to attach to in the back. So it attaches here with a couple of screws, but in the back, it just floats free. So it's supposed to attach with a screw right through there. This is a three quarter inch thick piece and it'll fit right flush with the inner edge of that. So if I cut this in half, I can attach one piece in the back on that side, one piece on the back on that side. And then I've got something to put the um, slide on. So let's cut this and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, as I was about to uh, cut up that scrap piece of oak to make those blocks in the back, I was just thinking about how hard it is to actually drill through and screw into a uh, hardwood like oak. So I found some three quarter inch piece of pine instead. That's gonna be mm, uh, much, much easier for me. Before I can proceed though, I gotta get rid of whatever these are. So let's get in there. All right, let's do the other one. Yeah, that came out a lot easier. Whatever, we're okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got our slides. Make sure this is going the right direction here. Yeah. So this is this side. <clears throat> so it's gonna go in here. And uh, put the block down there. So let's get an idea. A pencil here somewhere. Okay, so let's get an idea of where this slide goes so I can cover it with the block. So we got my level. All they did was just mark the general area that my blocks are gonna be mounted on. So I'll put these in a couple of different options. I can uh, use my nail gun if I can get in there and just go from the outside of the cabinet because it's relatively thin press board. Uh, how thin is that? It's well, a good question. How thin is that press board? Uh, that's three quarters. It's about an inch and a quarter. It's about a half inch thick. So I could go into it uh, from the inside of the cabinet out is probably strong enough for the weight that I'm going to put on there. I would prefer to go from the outside in and go through the press board into the block of wood. But honestly, this space right here, uh, neither my nail gun nor my drill are going to fit back there. Here is the plywood. I've got the factory edge here and here. This is gonna be the front, so this is actually going to flip over that way. So that means I need the wheels on the back, and this is gonna be the left. Should, does it say left? Left, yeah. So, let me think this through here. It'll go this way, 
that way. I find a clamp. <clears throat> Get this screwed on. Okay. Now we'll do the upside. Let's see if this works. Ah, this way. There we go. Okay. So that on there. Let's move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. My thought here is to use an L bracket, one on either end, and then attach the original panel to the front. So I've got to get these off real quick and then we'll mark where this needs to go. Now, put that on there, about evened up. And I'm just kind of making sure it's settled about where it's going to be. Pretty much flush right up against it, and that's fine. go. So now I've got a drawer where I can take out my paper from my safe box um, and it's out of the way because that was just dead empty space to begin with. So now I'll clean up this mess and think of another project to do while I'm on quarantine here. So that's what I've been doing uh, with a little bit of my time here, aside from the usual lawn care, putting up a new fence, that sort of stuff. Uh, let me know what you've been doing in the comments. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you think Carol Baskin fed her husband to a tiger. <laughs> we'll see you next time.